Happy Thursday, everyone. It's hard to believe that we are on the 2nd of March. Um, it is great to be with you all for our Lenten reflection for this day. The title for today's blessing is For When We Want More. So listen to this blessing. God, I carry around this incompleteness this drive for fulfillment that always seems just around the corner. If only I could get it together and find my true calling, my real passion, or the right plan. God, help me, guide me. What am I missing? Blessed are we who strive earnestly to change ourselves and the world around us but feel the drag and pull of what won't budge, the weight of all our limited and frail humanity. We carry it with us. Blessed are we the hungry in lives that are both too much and not enough, willing to tell the truth to ourselves and to each other that we languish here and what is perhaps the central paradox of our condition, that what we hunger for perhaps more than anything else is to be known in our full humanness, and yet that is often just what we also fear more than anything else. To be fully known and fully loved in all our humanity, that is a God-sized project. Blessed are we, thankful that we can live in our human-sized lives, in the good company of the vulnerable and the broken, the imperfect made whole in the love of God through Jesus Christ. Maybe it's right to be hungry and stay that way. Amen. Friends, our scripture reading is Psalm 32, so listen to God's words to us this day. The one whose wrongdoing is forgiven, whose sin is covered over, is truly happy. The one the Lord doesn't consider guilty, in whose spirit there is no dishonesty, that one is truly happy. When I kept quiet, my bones wore out. I was groaning all day long, every night, every day. Because your hand was heavy upon me, my energy was sapped as if in a summer drought. So I admitted my sin to you. I didn't conceal my guilt. I'll confess my sins to the Lord is what I said. Then you removed the guilt of my sin. That's why all the faithful should pray to you during troubled times so that a great flood water won't reach them. You are my secret hideout you protect me from trouble. You surround me with the songs of rescue. I will instruct you and teach you about the direction you should go. I'll advise you and keep my eye on you. Don't be like some senseless horse or mule whose movement must be controlled with a bit or a bridle. Don't be anything like that. The pain of the wicked is severe, but faithful love surrounds the one who trusts the Lord. You who are righteous, rejoice in the Lord and be glad. All you whose hearts are right, sing out for joy. Friends, the words of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. The psalmist talks about how hiding our humanness from God compounds it. But when we tell God the truth about our condition, God becomes the place of safety we had longed for. Secretly, honestly, and perhaps under a blanket, offer to God the God-sized project of being fully known and loved in all our imperfections. So my encouragement to you today, the thing I encourage you to do is this. Draw a self-portrait. Now, it doesn't have to be good. Mine will be a stick figure. But on the page, write down the things that make you, you. 
Maybe your kindness or stubbornness, for better or worse, or the way your nose crinkles when you smile. Take time to notice the humanity in your gifts and imperfections that are sometimes gifts if we look close enough. And friends, I'm going to invite you for the prayer today um, to pray today's blessing again, so what I read earlier, and add a secret prayer of response to God that is yours alone. So peace to you all on this Thursday. I hope that your March is off to a good start, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.